Do you know the diverterless supersonic inlet? Many people have heard the name but don't know why it matters. It is an inlet design that does not use a traditional splitter plate. The Sequoia 75 uses it. A natural bump is built on the fuselage. It compresses the high-speed airflow, separates the boundary layer, and sends cleaner and more stable air into the engine. The whole process does not rely on complex mechanisms, only on the shape. Its advantages are clear, it can maintain stable airflow at supersonic speeds. The structure is simple and the weight is lighter. Maintenance is lower. The inlet stays cleaner and is less likely to ingest the boundary layer. It can also reduce radar reflection and improve stealth. It makes the fuselage line smoother with less drag. But it also has disadvantages. The airflow adaptation range is narrow and more sensitive to flight attitude and angle of attack. To keep stable performance, the outer shape must be extremely precise. At high angles of attack, inlet efficiency can drop. Optimizing for different speed ranges is hard to balance, and trade-offs between maneuverability and stealth are required. So, the diverterless supersonic inlet looks simple, but it actually hides complex aerodynamic design. Designing it well shows a high aerodynamic level for a fighter.